Narada said, O Lord Brahma, O Vishnu's disciple of great intellect, O creator of the world, you have narrated a wonderful story consisting of the nectar of Shiva's divine sports. O dear one, what happened thereafter? Please tell me now. I am all attention to a narrative based on Shiva's life. Brahma said, When Shiva had gone back to his place and I, Brahma, had vanished from the scene, Daksha remembered my words and spoke to Kama. Daksha said, O Kama, this girl is born of my body. She is endowed with beauty and good qualities. She fits you admirably. Take her as your wife. This powerful girl shall ever be under your righteous control and shall be your constant companion as long as you wish. Rama said, Saying so, he presented to him the girl born of his sweat after naming her Rati. O Narada, after marrying the beautiful daughter of Daksha, who could enchant even sages, Kama rejoiced much. On seeing his auspicious wife Rati, Kama was pierced by his own arrows and was overpowered by the pleasure of dalliance. His wife of fair complexion, tremulous side glances and fawn eyes, admirably suited to his love of pleasure, offered him ample sports. On seeing her eyebrows, the doubt arose in the mind of Kama. These two have been fitted to her to excel my bow, by Brahma who wants to undo it. O best of Brahmanas, on seeing her rapid roving glances, he did not retain his faith in his arrows in the matter of swift action. Inhaling the naturally sweet fragrance of her steady breath, Kama abandoned his faith in the Malay breeze. Seeing her face resembling the full moon with all characteristic marks, Kama was unable to find any difference between her face and the moon. Her pair of breasts resembled the buds of golden lotus with nipples shining like bees hovering around them. Certainly Kama had set aside and forgotten the string of his flowery bow with tumultuous buzzing hums of bees because his eyes were riveted to the auspicious necklace with eyelets of peacock's tail suspended over her firm, protruding, plump breasts down to her umbilical part. His eyes covering the skin with their glances round her deep navel shone like red plums. That lovely woman of slender waist with a natural golden complexion appeared like a golden platform to Kama. Kama looked at her thighs, lovely like the stump of a plantain, as though they were his javelin. The heels, tips, and the sides of her feet were reddish in tinge. With them, she looked as the perfect comrade of Cupid. Her red hands, with nails like King Sukha flowers and with well-rounded tapering fingers, were very beautiful. Her arms were fine like the lotus stalk. They were glossy and soft. They resembled corals putting forth beams of splendor. Her glossy hair resembled the blue cloud and the fluffy tail of the chamari deer. Thus shone the wife of Kama. Just as Lord Shiva accepted Ganga flowing from the snowy mountain, Kama married her. She carried a discus and a lotus in her hand. She had arms fine as the lotus stalk. She had wavelets of her eyebrows. Her side glances rose up and down like gentle tides. She had eyes resembling a blue lotus. The curly locks of hair on her body were like the mossy growth in the river. She shone with her mind expanded like a tree. Her deep navel resembled the deep eddy. Thus shone Rati with her beautiful body. In fact, she appeared to be the abode of beauty itself, like Rama, goddess Lakshmi. She had twelve varieties of ornaments. She was an expert in the sixteen types of amorous gestures. 
She was capable of charming the whole world. She illuminated all the ten quarters. Seeing Rati like this, Kama eagerly accepted her, just as Vishnu accepted Lakshmi, who approached him with love. In his height of joy, the deluded Kama forgot the terrible curse of Brahma, and so he had no occasion to mention it to Daksha. Great festivities heightening the pleasure of everyone ensued, O oh dear one. My son Daksha was more delighted than anyone else. He rejoiced. Daksha's daughter Rati was highly delighted on getting Kama as her husband. The sweet-voiced Kama rejoiced with her like the cloud at sunset mingled with sparkling lightning. Thus Kama took Rati to his chest in his happy delusion like the yogin his knowledge. Having secured a fine husband, Rati with face shining like the full moon shone like Lakshmi having secured Hari.